Dear Libra, welcome to your April 2024 reading. Before I begin, I just want to let you guys know that um, the community post, if you want to check that out, if you're having a problem, if you have subscribed and you um, press the notification bell, and if you're not getting notified every time I upload, because I do upload pretty much every day, three to six videos a day. I might miss a day here and there when I'm completely exhausted, but other than that, I am working every day and I do upload so if you're not receiving the notification and you have hit the bell to be notified then you could go on there and put your handle in there so with your handle you just need to put the at symbol and whatever your handle um, name is. is that could be um your name that could be if if you haven't changed it and if it's what YouTube gave you then it will say user and a bunch of mix-up letters and numbers but if you don't know what your handle is you could always send me a comment and then look for the comment you sent. Send something unique to yourself, something you know is yours. And then look, and you'll see that um, the handle above your um, comment that is your handle. So if you just want to put that in, only that in the um, community post, because this way, when I ask YouTube to check you guys out, to check into each one of your accounts there to see why you're not getting, you know, the notifications, they don't have to look through a whole bunch of other. Um, words on there just just your handle if you want to do it okay guys so let's start with your april reading we're starting out with the front door so here we have the four of earth so this is what is about to enter your life so this is maybe something something maybe you're holding on to might be coming in here something you didn't want to let go of hmm Okay, let's see what else we get on that. We have here, ooh, the Page of Wands. Or this could be someone's holding on to you. Okay, Page of Wands. Page of Wands is very carefree and um, could be younger than you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But they're coming in with a message. Maybe something they've been holding back for a long time. We have, oh, we have bird here. So we have communication for sure. Someone coming towards you, coming towards your house, or coming towards your house, coming towards your front door here. And they want to get a message to you. So I think it's something they've been holding on for a while here. Holding back. And now they're ready to come forward. We have here occupation. Okay. Now this could also be something to do with a job. Maybe someone has a job offer for you. Felt more like romance to me, but you know. Maybe someone is interested in you romantically, but they want to offer you a job. That could be too. Or is someone maybe you worked for before, and they're not sure if you'll take the job back, but they might be offering. Or they might have a, or you might work with this person before, and they have a different opportunity coming in for you. Okay, let's get the word on that page one. See if that makes more sense. We get the words we have here. Okay, finances. Ooh, a tower. Pleasure. Okay, whatever this is, someone's coming in to offer you something here. It's going to shock you. A surprise, a shock. Every Scorpio energy, but it's going to make you very happy. It's going to bring you pleasure. Okay. So I think there's some kind of invitation, some kind of offer coming to your door. Okay, so let's see now. Next we go to the kitchen. Let's see what's cooking in your kitchen. Okay, we have here. The Earth Puppy. Okay. So, this would be like another um, page. But this is um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Coming towards you. The Earth Puppy. Let's see. We have here. Ooh. We have an angel. Divinely guided. Okay. Now, this could be an offer, too cooking something in your kitchen here what's going on <laughs> okay we have here oh we have the king of wands so do we have two coming towards you for an offer here to cook up something with you all right so king of wands aries leo sagittarius let me get a charm on that okay we have here we have an airplane so this could be person could be coming at it from a distance here long distance with the airplane Interesting. Okay, 
get one more here, and then we'll do the words. Bad health. Ooh. Someone might be coming towards you to tell them, tell you they're not feeling good, or they might be something that. Okay. I, I need to clarify that. It's making me anxious. I think I think I don't feel like it's. You know, this could be bad health. Could be just a cold too. So, or but I don't know why they would come with a cold. But let's see. We have here the star. Hopes and wishes, dreams come true. And we have here the six of swords. Yes, yeah, someone is traveling towards you to bring you something here. And the tower. This. Oh my gosh. What's going on? You have another tower. Shock. Surprise. It's something that's going to make you happy. I don't, I don't think someone telling you that someone's ill is going to make you happy. Or maybe the fact that they're coming to you and they have to come at this certain time. They might they might have a cold. Because usually this is, is not like really bad, the bad health. It's like, you know, a cold or something. But so maybe they're coming no matter if they're sick, which is not the nice thing to do. But let's see what we have. There might be urgency to this. Let's see what we have for this uh, puppy of pentacles here. The puppy of earth, rather. We have, tick, yeah, see, there's something about timing. Tick tock confess but something about money okay we get a money clarifier and we have some of you writing you a check wow you know what i usually don't see this as really bad but maybe you're you might be getting an inheritance or something someone might be coming this um because the page the puppy of, of earth could be a a courier delivering some maybe delivering you a check and they need to do it now but they're confessing something i don't know let's see let's see about this king of wands we have here money change immature okay let's see and we have maybe someone lost money. Here's a bag of money that is like have hole and all the money's coming out. So maybe you lost money towards with someone here. You know, I almost feel like someone's finding out that they're ill and they're they want to um, go around and, and fix their bad karma. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of don't like, but whatever this is, I don't think it should be that bad because it's like it, your wishes come true. Someone's moving towards you. A surprise, though. So, um. Aries Scorpio energy. I'm not getting too much. I almost feel like you can't know. I can't tell you more. Even if I, you know, they wouldn't tell me more because they want, wouldn't be something that you should know or something yet. I don't know. I'm going to leave it there. Let me know if it resonates, if it makes sense to you. Because usually, like I say, usually the bad health is usually not something serious. We have two people here. We have the puppy of earth and we have the king of wands. It could be something about a job, though. It could be that you're getting up. They want to offer your position because someone else cannot stay at the job. Maybe that's it. Maybe they just can't work. But maybe, I don't know, maybe just can't do the job. But they're okay to do other things. I'm not going to keep on um, going on that. So let's see what's happening in your living room. What are you currently living with? So we have here. This is the three of C. So that will be the Three of Cups. Party, celebration, something going on in your house. There's some kind of celebration going on. Hmm. Let's see. There could be an event that you're going to celebrate. Getting ready for it. So we have here the sun. Whatever it is makes you happy. Leo energy. Happiness here. Okay. And then we have the courthouse. So this could be some kind of legal issue here. Going to the courthouse. Now the courthouse could actually be a marriage. Maybe someone's getting married. Or maybe someone's celebrating a divorce. That could be too. Hmm. I know I was very happy when I went divorce went through. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let's go on to the office. Okay. What's happening in your office? This is work. This is career. 
What are you working on? Let's see. We have here the three of earth of a partnership or working together with others, being on a team. And you're focusing on that. Maybe building a team. We have, oh, Ace of Pentacles. This is bringing in money. Whatever you're working on is going to be very prosperous for you. Money's coming in. Very lucrative deal here. Okay, I like that. Opportunities coming in. And we have a mature man. So you're dealing with a mature man, whether that's you or that's someone you're dealing with. Someone might have money and maybe they're financing something or something's happening here. Five has changed too. Okay, so now let's go over to the bedroom. See what's happening in your bedroom. Boy, there's a lot happening in Gemini's bedroom. <laughs> let's see what's happening in yours. Okay, we have seven of earth okay so this could be either you're harvesting something here or you're re-evaluating something reassessing something giving something a second thought a second look here let's see what we get on that oh the ace of swords you might be deciding to cut someone out of your romance romance life with the ace of swords this is like honing into a truth here speaking of truth you might be removing someone from your your life here let's see what we have here and we have a gift okay now that confuses me so speaking of truth getting giving a gift to someone or getting a gift there's some kind of present coming for you as far as romance maybe someone's coming to you and speaking their truth how they feel about you after reassessing something here and also harvest time so they might be bringing you a gift okay we'll put that like that and then oh no, no i'm shuffling this one i have to go on to let's see what's happening in your spare bedroom other things that you might need to address let's see we have here the sun happiness leo energy okay what else do we have oh oh, oh who fell Somebody came flying out. I gotta see who it is. Where'd you go? Okay. Oh, we have two here. Okay, so we have... Let me make sure I don't have any other ones here. Okay, just two. Okay, here we go. So, in the spare bedroom, we have... The Sky Guardian, which would be an air sign, like a knight. Um, so, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then we have the Ace of Fire. Ooh, so there's a lot of, I would say there's a lot of passion and happiness in your bedroom. And you might be dealing with another air sign here. That is, um, you know, with the, the like the, um, the Knight of air the knight of swords is very determined but very um moves very quickly too so there seems like there was that might be some, some kind of action going on here in the spe spear room with something else here let's see what we have what is this oh we have um i mean i never i can't remember the name of it but you know is this is like the pirate's sword cut something cut cut i don't know um so anyway there we have it, that someone might be cutting something out with the sword. Okay, well, we got three cards instead of one there, so let me um, get a clarifier on these three. Passion, happiness, and we have justice. Okay, something's going to balance out, too. Libra energy. Might be a contract, too. Okay, and then we have here thoughts so someone's thinking of you and maybe you, this might be a new person wanting to come in so something's going on here some of you might be removing this person but someone might be giving you a gift maybe they're maybe you're trying to break up with someone but they're coming in with a gift that you know try to win you over but you do have someone else thinking of you wanting to make things right with you have a lot of passion to desire for you so i think there's a couple people here okay so and we also have libra you got the justice that's your um your energy too so let's get um the word on that 
sword guy, sword person. Fast? Is it love? Okay, this might be someone that you meet and right away you have feelings for each other. And you're in this person's thoughts. And they might be thinking, is this love? I mean, this just happened. It's, it sounds like this comes in very quickly. And right away, someone is very smitten with you. So, and you might still have something going on here, but maybe, maybe not. Hmm. You have a lot of surprises, a lot of things going on with these towers and everything else. So expect, I would say expect the unexpected. Okay. So now we're going to do, I should have put these in a different order, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to do the possible outcome and then I'm going to do what's hidden in the attic. So let's do the possible outcome in this room here. I don't know what, what room did I put that for? I don't know. No, just possible outcome I put there. Okay. So we have seven of sky. Hmm. Which would be someone not trusting something. Look at this. This, this looks like this. Yes. A very sneaky behavior. If you look at this card, it's kind of funny. You have that dog is looking away and he's supposed to have that like chicken leg right, hidden under one of those. I don't know what they are. It's like a half a coconut, whatever the hell it is. Um, and he doesn't. He's playing that, you know, hide the pee with a chicken leg or something. But there's nothing under there. So he's trying to trick this other dog. So there might be someone trying to trick someone. Okay, let's see. And we have here. Ace of Cups. Oh, I don't like that coming out with Ace of Cups. There's a love offer coming in, but maybe someone's not. Tr well, maybe someone's not trusting it. That could be too. Uh, we have the coffin. There might be an ending here. Okay, this is very confusing now. Okay, so we have here someone a sleight of hand trying to do something. Seven of Swords is usually a sneaky behavior. Someone's holding back, lying, or cheating. Then we have the Ace of Cups, which is someone coming in with a love offer, but. You might not be interested. It might be an end here. Something that's no longer... I, I want to say no longer valid, if that makes sense. Hmm. Okay, I'll get a couple more cards on it just to see if we can clarify it. Maybe we're not supposed to know. But this is the possible outcome, and it is a general reading. So let's see what we get for that. We have the Two of Cups. Yeah, this looks like a connection, a love connection. And we have the Lovers choice and also lovers gemini energy and we have the queen of wands okay so that's interesting we have the king of wands here we have the queen of wands here there might be a good connection but maybe someone's not trusting it you might have dealt with this person before and you just don't trust them maybe that's why it might be this person coming in some about money losing money changing yeah so it might be your energy saying i'm not sure if i trust this person um okay so we'll get something on the Queen of Wands. We have, okay, we have the Shamrock, the um, Four Lee Clover. And uh, you're going to be watching this on the 16th, on 17th St. Patty's Day. So that might have something, but this could be something lucky here. Someone could feel lucky. Okay, let me get the words. Something might happen on St. Patty's Day. It's kind of weird that that came up. Okay. Oh, look at this. Another tower. Surprise. Sincere. Committed. Okay, so this, I think someone's coming towards you with a love offer. And they're being very sincere, but you don't trust them. They're surprising you with the way they're acting. But we have here the, the lovers. We have the two of cups. So lovers is choice too. Two of cups, the ace of, I don't know. This sounds like someone's really showing you a lot of love and affection, but you're not trusting it. So, you know. You'll know what's right for you if it's for you. Maybe that isn't for you. Okay, let's see what's hiding. What's hidden in the attic? What is hidden in the attic? We have here the nine of sky. Someone is stressing out over something. A lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, a lot of worry. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. And we have here. The Queen of Pentacles, it has something to do with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone might be worried over the, about their money. Um, we have here. Nope, there's love here. We have a heart. Okay, let me get one more card. And then we'll do the words. And we have a wealthy man. Okay. 
So, I don't know. Maybe this is the same thing going on here. Okay, well, there's a wealthy man, a queen of pentacles, and someone's worried about something. Maybe someone's not trusting something here. I do believe that someone's not believing or trusting someone. Let's see about the queen of pentacles. Let me get on that. We have love. Unknown. Always. Finish. Okay, now this is what's hidden. This is a, someone might be coming forward with a love for you, and maybe you know. I don't know. I think it's a, you got a, like a few people that are interested in you, and you're not trusting them. Or maybe it's because you're coming into money, and maybe you don't know if they're loving you for the money. But do you have a wealthy man here? I don't know if that's your energy or if it's um person coming towards you. Let's see what we don't see here that's coming we have the five of c five of cups someone's feeling like they missed out on an opportunity or there were there a lot of regret and remorse this could be this person coming in wanting to make things right we do have the queen of swords which i think is your energy standing your truth not letting someone get over on you let me get a charm on this we have here okay we have pegasus good news coming and then on the bottom here, we have poverty though hmm Okay, let me get it. I don't know. I think someone feels like they don't have enough to offer you. We have the X later keeps the money. They might be telling you to keep the money or, or you're telling them to keep the money. And we have here a gift of money. Someone's giving someone money. I almost feel like you might be giving to this person that's trying to come back because they might not be doing as well as you financially. Or there's something lacking with them. They're, they're missing out on something. Could be they're, they're missing you and they're feeling in that energy. Also at the bottom, we have the Emperor here too. Okay, so the Emperor, Aries energy. Someone in charge. Someone, the leader. It could be your energy that you're coming into this leader position. Or you're taking full control of a situation. So take it out. It might resonate with you. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. What are the signs for Libra? Let's see. We have Gemini. Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries, bottom we have Taurus again. Okay, so placement in your chart, placement of other people charts, past, present, and future. We have Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries, and Taurus. Okay, guys, so there's your reading. Take it if it resonates, leave if it doesn't, or just take the parts that seem to fit for you. If something else doesn't make any sense, that's probably not for you. And um, Or you could check out your other placements. If you watch your sun, then watch your moon rising or Venus sign. And that might give you that missing piece, that missing link, the part of the puzzle that makes everything click together. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments, and your super thanks. And I appreciate it all. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.